Hello Awful Golfers, my name is William Eves and I am your Awful Golfers Guide. Today I've got two very cool irons to look at. We have the TaylorMade Tour Preferred MC iron, which is my iron of choice. Iron that I use regularly has a KBS shaft in, which is the KBS Tour FST shaft, which is quite a popular shaft actually, versus the Aero 2 Top Flight iron. And this is a two dollar iron from Goodwill. I got a whole set of these, I think from, I think it was from four iron all the way up to a, I think I paid too much, and they were two dollars each, so it wasn't very much, it was like 18 million dollars, whatever it was. And this is one of them. It had, what chef's got in it, it's got a, well, it's got a, what does it say? A hyper steel top flight medium flex shaft. Medium flex, stiff flex. So a little difference in flex capacity as well, but, Let's look at the first little uh, shot here. What should I go for first? But before I tell you, do me a favor. Go to that, that look down for me and smash that like button. Drive it, smash it, whatever you want to do. Improve the clubs, and the, the clubs, the channel's algorithm and get more exposure of these videos to more golfers, especially awful golfers. So let's go with um, Top Flight. Let's go for the $2 iron. I will prove this is a $2 iron by showing you the Goodwill label. Right, for all those Americans out there that know what Goodwill is, Goodwill is a charity organization similar to a nonprofit that's just based on building up the society, helping others. So I'm helping Goodwill and helping others by buying these clubs. So, $1.99. Proof is in the pudding. So, first one, I am using the Swing Caddy SC300. So I'll get my, my remote here. And we're gonna go and press seven iron. So I'll press seven iron, yes. All right then, very good. All right, okay. First one, club it challenges, we're gonna do three with both. So we'll do, oh no, we'll do five, let's do five. Five birds, so five shots with this, five shots with the Telemade Tor Preferred MC irons as well. Both seven irons, uh, the seven iron in the Tor Preferred, I know is about, is, it is 30 degrees. I don't know the loft on this, but the edges are way chunkier. So when I look at these two edges here, you look at the actual profiles of these clubs. I get in camera here, okay. My obviously MC is much, much thinner, a lot more of a bladed club. Uh, and the top, the top flight is a little bit more of a kind of beginner's club. Perfect for the little uh, indication here. If $2 is really different to a the club I have, which I'll let you into secret, cost about $67 per club when new. So they're about $45 now, but $2, $45 or $67, let's give it a whirl, shall we? We'll say, we'll say $45, that's an actual correct amount. So, seven iron, here we go here, five shots. First one, we have 174 okay. yards. So 174, a swing speed of 88 miles an hour, a ball speed of 120 miles an hour, an apex of, what does it say there? Apex of 133 yards high. So, try again, Joy. Second one, here we go. Up, what, pretty? I don't know. 175. So 175 and 174, so pretty much the same. Consistency, good. Here we go, another one here. Let's go again, ready. A bit thin, a bit thin, quite low in the face. 173 okay. yards. 173, bit thin, it's okay. Apex was not as high, so yeah, 96 feet, a lot lower, but it got thinner to carry a lot more. So, SS300 does a pretty good job of picking those things up. So, I think I'm on the, yeah, this is now my fourth shot. Here we go. That felt pretty good. What was it? 100. <laughs> so I've got 173, 174, and 175. Point 0.9, so 176 round up. So pretty good. So can I, can, I, can I get more than that? For people that actually watch my videos, if you count how many times I say so, it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I must say, oh, so, about 20 times a video. I've got no idea where I got that habit from, maybe from a tennis coaching experience, but I'm going to try and get rid of that. Let's try again here. Here we go. Ah, uh, that's good. 
yards. So 178, apex of 145 feet in the air, swing speed of 90, yeah, 90, uh, sorry, 90, 90, 87 miles an hour, and a ball speed of 125. That is five shots done with the top flight. So, the TaylorMade, TaylorMade Tor Preferred MC Irons. Five shots, let's see which is better. The $2 iron or the 45-ish dollar iron. Remember, difference in shaft here is the stiff shaft, medium flex shaft, so beginner's kind of shaft, rather than more at a higher swing speed shaft. So I might get more distance just on the shaft alone. Let's give it a go. That felt really good. <laughs> that felt really good. Okay. Yards. So, a little bit anticlimactic. I've already beaten the uh, top flight. I said so again. Already beaten the top flight. Let's see how much more I can get with this. So, 180, it was an apex of 141 feet, uh, swing speed of 80 mile an hour, and a ball speed of 125. So, same ish numbers, same ish numbers, but I think the shaft must make no difference there in how much I'm getting that compression down the ball. Okay, second ball. Here we go. Second ball. That felt very nice. That felt very nice. <laughs> 184 yeah. 184 yards. miles an hour. Apex of 154 feet of height. So much higher. Swing speed, 8 and mile an hour. Ball speed, 129. So faster ball speed than the last one. But and again, smash factor, which I didn't mention before, is a 1.45. So pretty good smash factor. Right, I've got, what, three more? Three more, yeah. Here we go. But before I do this next shot, do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Help the channel out. Get an algorithm right up there. And do the world of good for this channel to meet more, old, old, more awful golfers in the same spot. To met together, we can be a community of awful golfers or make us eventually be my golfers. Let's go again here. My foot slipped. Yeah. Yards. Faster swing speed, so 90 mile an hour swing speed. Ball speed seemed to be 125, same as before, but I can tell my contact was a bit off there. My back foot slipped, and the uh, ball apex was 144 with a loft or launch angle of 22 degrees. So for a 30 degree, lock, 30 degree wedge, uh, not wedge, iron, sorry, 22, according to thin, makes complete sense. SC300 with irons, I've mentioned in other videos, are brilliant. It really is excellent. Drivers, uh, indoors in this kind of environment, that was good. I've ordered some of those metallic stick-on dots, and uh, they come next week. Hopefully that might get a bit more accurate readings of the driver, because it, it just can't pick them up. The ball speed is a bit too quick with this amount of lighting I have in here to pick it up. So, let's go again here. Last one. Not bad, high apex, I definitely think. 171 yards. So uh, I caught the ground there, so quite technically fat. Uh, that was 122 mile an hour ball speed. It was 1.3 a smash factor, so obviously I wasn't smashing the ball nowhere near as much. Yeah, my ball speed was way down, uh, 117. And my club speed was up there ish, about 8 and a half miles an hour. So now off the data, so not, not the best. But I want to do one more. One more. How much can I smash this into Kingman Cup? Well, I say smash this, I mean more hit the ball straight, hopefully not break anything. Here we go. Last ball of the day here. Last ball of this video. How far can it go? I want to get 185. That's my goal. Oof. 182 yards. 182. So, my very first iron, I took down the uh, top flight aero tubes, but doesn't matter really. The most important part is that it's two dollars. If you haven't played much golf before, get yourself some irons. It doesn't matter that all that much in ability. Well, yes to some extent, but it's mainly down to you know metal is metal and balls are balls. There's some improvement in technology. Like I've got a little ridge here, a kind of soft feel ridge. It used to be Adams technology that was bought out by TaylorMade, but that's a small difference. I've got a thinner bladed club, so mine's more of a field club. I want to get as much yardage, a bit thicker, more forgiveness. But not bad. $2 versus $45, pretty good deal. 
So if you like these kind of videos, again, I mentioned it earlier, like and subscribe. Mention in the comments below, what is the best but cheapest iron you've got from Goodwill? If I got a Goodwill, go find, go find one Goodwill. And I will see you all in the next video. And thank you very much for watching. My name is Willie Meese, and I am your Awful Golfers Guide. So, have a great day. I said so again. Good night. Bye.